Elon Musk introduced the world to the Tesla bot. Yeah, so let's talk about it. At Tesla's AI Day event, Elon Musk unveiled the Tesla bot, a humanoid robot. Here's what it looks like in all its rendered glory. It's a slim, human-like machine. The body is white with gray accents from its feet to where its collarbones would be. Then it's all black. What can it do? Take a look at this. Okay, Elon Musk said that what we just saw with the dancing was not real, but he did share a couple of slides showing what to expect from the Tesla bot. We'd be looking at a friendly 5'8 robot weighing only 125 pounds since it is built out of undisclosed lightweight materials. It would be able to carry 45 pounds and deadlift 150 pounds. The Tesla bot is not fast. It reaches speeds of up to 5 miles per hour. Musk joked about the bot saying you would be able to run away from it and most likely overpower it. I'm not making that up. He also said we certainly hope that this does not feature in a dystopian sci-fi movie. I'm not making that up either. One of the goals of the Tesla bot is to eliminate dangerous, repetitive, boring tasks. There was a slide on the technical details. The head would feature a screen to provide information to whomever's looking at the bot. It would run on Tesla's full self-driving computer with an autopilot system using eight cameras to help. AI is a big part of Tesla bot with one slide mentioning the use of neural net planning, simulation, and multi-cam video neural networks. The bot will be using all the tools that are in Tesla cars. Musk said that one of the goals of the Tesla bot is to have it do things that it was not explicitly trained to do. Telling the bot to go get your groceries or attach a bolt to something should be doable. A prototype of the Tesla bot could be a reality in 2022. All right, so why is this happening? Musk said that, quote, Tesla is arguably the world's biggest robotics company. Our cars are basically semi-sentient robots on wheels. He also explained that the robot is not specifically prompted by manufacturing needs. He also had this to say. We're just obviously making the pieces that are needed for a useful humanoid robot. Um, so I guess we probably should make it. And if we don't, someone else would, will. And so I guess we should make it and make sure it's safe. In a Q&A session, the Tesla team was asked if emotion and companionship is on the roadmap for Tesla bot. Musk answered with, I'm sure people will think of some very creative uses. The team was also asked about how important it is to maintain a humanoid form with hands that have five fingers. Musk explained that they'll start with five fingers for version one and see if it works. The bot needs to be able to do things like work with tools or carry a bag. There was also a question about the economics of the Tesla bot. If the bot is designed to take on boring, repetitive, and dangerous tasks, which can be low paying for humans, how will Tesla build a robot to operate in that space? Musk's response was, well, I guess you'll just have to see. If you want to help develop Tesla bot, check out tesla.com slash AI. A job description reads, develop the next generation of automation, including a general purpose bipedal humanoid robot capable of performing tasks that are unsafe, repetitive, or boring. So this is weird, right? Back in 2017, Musk was a part of a group who wrote a letter to the UN warning of the danger of lethal autonomous weapons. Also, this Tesla bot would be using AI to handle tasks it was not programmed for, right? In a 2017 meeting of the National Governors Association, Musk said, quote, I have access to the very most cutting edge AI, and I think people should be really concerned about it. He also said, quote, AI is a fundamental risk to the existence of human civilization. So here's what he had to say about AI now. But what we're, what we're trying to do here at, at Tesla is make useful AI that people love and, and is uh, unequivocally good. That's our, you know, we'll try to aim for that. Well, this is certainly an interesting reality. If you would like to be less terrified by a robot, check out this one that helps remove trash from bodies of water. I'm curious, what boring, repetitive, or dangerous activity would you have the Tesla bot take on? Let me know in the comments. I'm Aya Zaktar, and I'll see you online. This is one of the strangest stories I think I've reported in a long time.